and he'll invest some money at a fixed rate of interest compounded annually. If the interest accrued during the second and third years are 806.25 and 866.72 respectively, the interest accrued in INR during the fourth year is nearest to, very nice juicy question, let's say year one, year two, year three, year four, you have a principal, interest, amount, Thank you. this is P, this is P into 1 plus X, where X is R by 100, rate by 100, this is P into 1 plus X, this is P into 1 plus X whole square, this is P into 1 plus X whole square, P into 1 plus X whole cube, P into 1 plus X whole cube, P into 1 plus X whole power 4. You know the amount moves, whatever principle was into 1 plus X the amount, whatever principle was into 1 plus X the amount, whatever principle was into 1 plus X the amount. And that's how the, the compound interest thing works, that's why the compounding kicks in. I have some principle into 1 plus X is my new amount at the end of the year. This becomes a principle for year 2. Then becomes like this. This becomes the principle for year 3. This becomes like this. So what is the interest? Interest here is P into X year 1. What is the interest here? This is P into 1 plus X the whole square minus P into 1 plus X. This minus this amount minus principle is the interest accrued in the third year, in the second year. Same process here, same process here. Right? So, P into 1 plus X whole square minus P into 1 plus X is P into 1 plus X into 1 plus X minus 1 or P into 1 plus X into X. Next year, it's going to be 1 plus x whole cube minus 1 plus x whole square. I can extract a 1 plus x whole square outside and then I'll have x remaining. I can extract a 1 plus x whole cube outside, I'll have x remaining. Or, to put simply, if I'm tracking only interest, year 1 would be p into x. Year 2 would be p into x into 1 plus x. Year 3 would be p into x into 1 plus x the whole square. Year 4 would be Px into 1 plus x, the whole cube. The interest accrued in each year, basically a higher base into the same rate of interest, higher base into the same rate of interest. So if my principal at the beginning of each year goes in a geometric progression, so too will interest. Just whatever the principal is into x is interest. Right? So, uh, this principle into x is this interest, other way of thinking about it. This principle into x is interest, this principle into x is interest. Or the interest is a geometric progression. Okay. So we have 806.25, 866.72. What is this number? This number is going to be 866.72 by 806.25 into 866.72. I think this is 1.075 or something, a 7.5% uh, interest rate. I don't remember the answer at the top of my head, but this we can compute. The funda is very simple. Just plug it in, calculate the answer, it should be done. I think that, that this number is 1.075. Uh, multiply by that, whatever the answer is, that's what we're looking at. 86 into 3 by 4, into 8866 plus this, 64 plus this 930 this should be the answer that my gut feel Gosh.